hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new cleaning motivational video so today's video is a cleaning marathon i have combined some of my best cleaning videos to make a very long cleaning video so if you are looking for some cleaning motivation and you want to play a video that will last all through your cleaning this video will be perfect for it i hope that you guys enjoy this video guys i have been away with my family on vacation and i am not yet back so i wasn't able to film a brand new video but i hope that you guys enjoy this video till i'm back to my normal routine Hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new cleaning motivational video today i'm going to be cleaning out my living room and the dining section and as you guys can see my house is a complete disaster i actually stood for about five minutes looking at the living room thinking where to start from but anyway we are going to tackle this mess together some days are like this in my house and i'm gonna be cleaning up all of this and i hope that you get some form of cleaning motivation from this video my daughter celebrated her birthday a day before this video was filmed so the whole place was just a chaos it's fine some days are like this um, this is what motherhood is all about. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sumbili and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But We'll be driving our state, yeah. Look around for the next crowd, yeah. Going our own way, trying to find a new route, yeah. We'll be going in circles, trying to find a way, searching for the things we do, yeah. 
Drop top without a choice, yeah. Hair blown round to the window, singing stupid noise. Or will you? I just wanna get to know ya. I wanna go far to the coast, yeah. I wanna drive fast to the ocean. I wanna know all of you. Growing old like a ghost, yeah. I wanna have kids of my own, yeah. Live a life till it's over. But until we do, it's sleeping soon. I'm feeling a little crazy. Sat at home being lazy. Wanna travel to the mighty, flying with you. Uh. Wanna take on the world and do something. Would you by my side like it's nothing? Wanna buy you things that you wanted. Wanna find you, drop top without a choice. Yeah, hair blow round to the window, singing stupid noise with you. I just wanna get to know ya. I wanna go far to the coast, yeah. I wanna dive fast to the ocean. I wanna know all of you. Growing old like a ghost, yeah. I wanna have kids of my own, yeah. And live a life till it's over. But until we do, it's sleeping too long.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another brand new cleaning motivational video. So today I'm going to share with you guys my cleaning routine before our rental inspection. So the landlord will be coming over in two days to do the routine rental inspection. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my cleaning before this inspection. So most of the cleaning that I'll be showing you guys today are my routine cleaning. But then I'm also going to chip in some extra deep cleaning that I will also be doing just because this inspection is going to happen soon. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. My name is Sunbili and I am a mom of three and I live in the UK. So I have posted this kind of video on my channel about a few months ago and that video got a lot of traction and a lot of comments. I understand that people didn't know that this was norm. A lot of people say they didn't know there was anything like rental inspection. People even thought that this was a council house which was also surprising to me because I have lived in UK for four years now and we have lived in about three different houses. We're renting these houses and in all the renting period, there was always a routine inspection. There is always the landlord or the estate management coming in after about four months or three months to just come and inspect the property to make sure that you are using the property for what it is intended for. So it was a normal thing to me. I was surprised when people didn't know that this was a thing. So there was a lot of questions on that video. Yes, I live in the UK and this is a normal thing in the UK. Also, there was a lot of comments on that video some people <laughs> some people had the guts to say that if i cleaned my house then i wouldn't need to clean my house because of inspection first of all does my house look like something that is being cleaned once in three months or once in four months like <laughs> secondly secondly how dare you judge people based on 30 minutes video that you just watched Please guys, please be nice on the comment section. This video is just packed with lots of cleaning motivation and I hope that you get all the motivation that you need to clean up your house. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy cleaning videos like this. I post every week. Please don't forget to subscribe. That way you get notification whenever I have a new video up. With that being said, let's go on and do some cleaning.
I forgot that I have delivery this morning, so I just got uh, my groceries. So I'm going to do a quick haul so I can clean up the kitchen. So over here, I have the crepes, and then I have my protein here. I have the chicken thighs, and then the chicken breast. I always buy two of these. Here, I have salmon, the chicken nuggets, and then here, pork sausage, and um did i order this <laughs> i don't remember ordering this well so i have this and then i have some mini sausage roll pork um sausages and then egg i usually don't buy this egg i love to buy the 12 large ones but it was sold out so i picked just one of these here i have greek yogurt i have two packs of bananas then i got the roast potatoes this is really nice when you use it in <coughs> this is really nice when you roast it in the air fryer here i have the crispy sweet potato fries guys i am so so mad i didn't realize that this is three for two but i added just two in my cart so it's just so painful i'm supposed to add three of it and then they will charge me for two so over here i have ketchup avocados steamed beetroot my husband likes to add this to his smoothies um here i have celery tangerine apple i thought i got two of these okay yeah apple grapes um i just found this i've not tried this before but sometimes when i have my salmon and veggie i always like to add some form of carbs so this will come in handy for those days here i have green beans i have spinach sweet potatoes onion granules this is so good in avocado toast bell peppers and then tomatoes so I'm going to quickly put this away so I can clean up the kitchen.
so guys before we continue with the cleaning i wanted to share with you guys the amazing workout outfits that i've been enjoying for the past few weeks now it is from yvette so yes look at that material it is so soft it is so comfortable i love how it wraps around my body i feel very comfortable in it look at my squat test you can see it is not transparent the amazing thing about this is that it is so stretchy and comfortable at the same time i'm here doing my wing dance that i do each time i'm done working out so i'm going to leave the link to this amazing workout gear in my description box i have also have some discount code for you guys so you get some discounts when you order from them so please check out my description box for the full details of these outfits and let me know if you try them out
forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up and i will see you all in my next video okay bye Hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are starting with some music because i need all the motivation that i can get to get my cleaning done i've been procrastinating to deep clean my children's bedroom so today i just need to do that if you're new to my channel my name is sundili and i am a mom of three my oldest daughter is eight lota my son Zimi is six and my baby Suri is five. Today I'm going to be cleaning out their bedroom. So the first thing I want to do is to take out all the beddings. I need to throw them into the washer before I start the main cleanings. Let me know in the comment section if your kids share bedrooms. Because my kids used to share bedrooms but my first daughter, she has problems sleeping at night. And it makes nighttime so difficult because she stays awake all through. And she will not let the siblings sleep so we decided to just separate them and put them in different bedrooms <laughs> Have this excellent hack here if you have a little one that's still bed wet consider putting like a pet training pad before you put the bed sheet i use this all the time can you guys see the nasty urine that would have gone on the mattress so this is amazing it catches everything and it just protects the mattress <music> Lota is very crafty and most times this her bedroom always looks like a studio. She does a lot of art and crafts and paintings and it's just difficult to keep up with the cleaning. Sometimes when I clean her bedroom, some things that I really feel like I should trash but she swears that they are important to her. So most times she does the cleaning but because she does a lot of paintings and arts, there is always things in this bedroom. Her bed spreads usually have different colors her wall i just don't know how to control that she's still very young and i like that it keeps her busy but it just comes with a lot of mess I, was it the voice was it the fire burning in me I, all of the noise turned into choirs of harmony left me with the pieces of
So she used to have about four pillows on her bed, but I realized that there are so many marker stains on the pillowcases. There are so many paint. So I'm not giving her four pillows anymore. I'm going to take away two and just let her have two of these because I've already trashed two pillowcases and don't think I'm going to leave this white bedding on top of her bed. No, I'm just going to put this temporarily until her bedding is ready. some oxyclean in the cleaning solution hopefully it helps to take away all the colored marker stains on the carpet <laughs>
Moving over to Zimmy's bedroom, Zimmy is my child that keeps the cleanest room, like he prides in clean room. So the only thing I need to do here is just to put in a new bed in for him, do a couple of dusting here and there, and then shampoo his carpet. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. Throw it away, see if you'll let go of me when you're not holding me. I can see it now. Hey, when I look. But if I'm gonna lose you Sometimes everything was on the line Didn't want to be the one who had to say it No, I can't rewind the time Promise I'll put down my pride Don't look back because I mean it when I say it You hurt me, you did, several times It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with than without you Finally moving over to Zuri's bedroom. Like I said, she usually bed wets at night. She does wear diapers, but I don't know. There's usually a leak. So I make sure that I put this part before I put her bed sheet. That way, if anything happens, if she has any accident, it doesn't stain the mattress. It's just this that I need to replace. So I'm going to put a new bed spread for her and also do the same thing do some dusting and also shampoo her carpet. Oh.
finally i'm going to clean the landing area so this is a high traffic area you notice i keep going over and over a particular spot when i'm shampooing it that's because it is really really dirty it is a high traffic area in this house <music> Kate wanted us to pull out the Christmas tree. I'm not ready to decorate. I have a couple of things that I've ordered and they will be delivering them next week. But they really, really wanted to pull out the Christmas tree. So we're going to do that tonight. <music> Also, I forgot that whenever I'm filming with my kids, I prefer to use my phone in case if anything happens. I don't want to use my fragile camera, which I totally forgot. So as we were filming this, somehow my son decided to throw a cushion at the sister, but the tripod fell off and my phone isn't coming up anymore. I'm happy that the phone is still working. I think it is the lens that is broken. I feel so sad. Like... Anyway, the tree is all standing now. We will do the decoration maybe next week. So please subscribe so you don't miss out. My kids already put their gingerbread men under the Christmas tree. Then these are the couple of things that I've owned from last year, last two years. I just pulled them out from the garage. The rest of the things that I ordered will come in next week and I do the decoration. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Okay, bye. Thank you.